basic and silk procedure they are considered the safest surgeries in human body next day 99% of my patients come in with a big smile mm -hmm. ki are ye kya jadoo ho gaya aaj aap socho mere ko chashma nahi pehna kal aapka operation ho gaya parso you are back to normal again Last time on Beyond Specs, we spoke about how contacts and glasses aren't the only option out there. We explored how vision correction has come a long way, with silk being one of the most advanced technologies out there. It's quick, it's gentle. When it comes to surgeries, I know, I know, the big machines, the long recoveries scare us all. Me too. But let's be honest, it's nothing like that. In the last episode, we spoke about it, but today. We're here to take you to the operation theater. And as promised, we have the MD of I7 Eye Hospitals and a major advocator of awareness around eye health. And today, we're getting a rare opportunity to visit Dr. Rahil Chaudhary's operation theater, which is where he will take us through the silk procedure, the machines and the techniques and everything. What goes on in that 10-minute operation? I'm sure you're excited. We've spoken about it. Now, it's the time to show you. Let's go. Yes, doctor. To the operation theater. So this is our temple of worship. Mm -hmm. But when the patient enters here, that reality strikes him. Yeah. He finally, this is happening. And Absolutely. he has that numbness on his face. Ki, My God, what's going to happen now? That operation theater finally came. But like I told you, it's so simple. It is no blade, no injection, no pain. And the whole surgery is done under just eye drops. So sir, first I want to know, which machine is the machine for silk procedures? Yes, so uh, this machine that you see, mm -hmm. the one with the white top mm -hmm. and grey and red bands, uh -huh. this is the silk machine. Okay. So we have two silk machines mm -hmm. and we have two LASIK machines. I want to understand and I want our audiences to understand exactly how the procedures are done. So, so we, we'll just demonstrate for the audience. Yes, could you please help so, me? I'm your patient. Done. And what, Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> and what happens in the 10 yes. minutes? So for the first step is making that lenticule. Uh -huh. right? So the patient lies down on uh -huh. the silk machine. Okay. The Let's head goes do there. That. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this machine is brought down okay and it kind of docks okay. onto your eye it touches the eye yeah it touches okay the because the machine has to be in touch with your eye mm -hmm. for the laser to enter the eye mm -hmm. so because this is a femtosecond laser okay in lasik the laser that was being used was the eczema laser okay so that laser comes from top but mm -hmm. this has to be in contact with the eye okay so to make that contact we are using these patient interfaces okay so this cone goes on to the laser head uh -huh. this is a sterile cone mm -hmm. and then slowly the machine is brought down and it gently touches your eye and it docks onto the eye. Once so is it there docks any on, anesthesia used before Yeah, the only this? anesthesia are the drops. Okay. So those drops work for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. and in 10 minutes the surgery is complete. Okay. Right. So the first step is done here. Once the machine docks onto your eye, mm -hmm. then it is a matter of 15 to 17 seconds mm -hmm. where it is cutting out that disc of tissue yeah. that has to be to removed. Remove. So we have to now dissect that mm -hmm. lenticule. Mm -hmm. So we take an instrument inside your cornea, we open up the anterior plane, we open up the posterior plane and mm -hmm. we just pinch that tissue, disc of tissue and we just pull it out and that's okay. it. Finish. Patient's vision is fairly clear. Mm -hmm. It starts clearing out in half an hour, one hour, the patient is nice and comfortable and by next day, he has good 99% quality and in a week's time, it becomes 100%. Okay, so now that we understand the procedure and we understand that there shouldn't be anything to fear about, no. what are the precautions that we take for aftercare? The precautions are fairly simple. Mm -hmm. So, although you can still get back to your work the next day, but still we recommend patients to take a three-day break. Okay. So, we say that, you know, just because we've changed your system, 
so we need to give you a little time to adapt mm -hmm. because immediately suppose we do your surgery today and next day morning you are 15 hours on the screen your body mm. is still adapting to the new system you'll have those headaches and eye aches yeah. so take 3 day break mm -hmm. preferably stay indoors in a clean environment any food or liquid no, restrictions no no restrictions on food no restrictions on any spicy and ghee wala khana mein koi issue problem nahi hai you okay. can have your regular diets you can watch tv as much as you want but again as per your comfort suppose you feeling that you know your body is still adapting sometimes you are having those heaviness so don't push yourself mm. so in 3 days time you are nice and comfortable you don't even feel that something was done to your eyes and you back to most of the activities mm -hmm. and like we discussed downstairs that you know something that could contaminate your eyes something like swimming maybe in chlorinated contaminated water mm -hmm. or suppose you want to put on makeups or you yeah. put want to put on those colored contact lenses at times yeah. so should be started about 15 to 20 days So 15 to 20 days is when your cornea completely yeah, heals so from you. Yeah, so after 15-20 days, kind of you have to forget that something happened to your eyes. Just live like a normal person. Okay. And then the medicines continue for about three months. Okay. So basically, initially for about 10-15 days, we are giving you some antibiotic drops. We are also giving some anti-inflammatory drops because mm -hmm. the surgery has happened. The body will respond to it. There will be some sujan, some mm -hmm. inflammation. So we are giving you medicines for that. So, uh, for patients, does it differ due to age, demographic, due to their sex? Yes. So, like we discussed, that the minimum age for these procedures is 18 years. Then your spectacle power has to be stable for mm -hmm. the last six months. Mm -hmm. Ideally, or preferably, we want that you should only have the power in your eyes. Yeah. You should be free from any other. i pathology mm -hmm. and then you should not be taking any steroids or immunosuppressants that yeah. could compromise the healing process but once you fulfill these criteria there is a 3 day job and you free from glasses forever absolutely i think it takes just this much time for you to get your procedure done and it's done